If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thought your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters both the same, I think that's it, right? <laughs> Kipling's If uh, is one of the best examples of, of repetition in writing that I have read. You know, that's one of those poems that sticks with you. And I had to call out this response because it's so good, you're so right. Obviously, if you're, if you're using unintentional or unpurposeful repetition, um, it's no good. But if you're using it to set a rhythm and set ideas in place and remind the audience of, of what's going on, I think that's a, a huge deal. I think about, um, <laughs> I don't know, Phantom of the Opera, dun, 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 which kind of carries throughout. There are definitely themes and, and points to saying the same things over, but it's unintentional repetition, I hate. Much love, thanks for the response. I really appreciate it. Keep in touch.